in today's video we're going to be talking about how to rank your preferences for any training speciality. I know it's a very daunting experience, it's a very pressure environment to be ranking where you're going to be training for the next two, three, four years depending on what training specialty you have chosen. There are a few points that you can look out for and it could help you decide where you want to be and that is what the aim of this video is. So let's dive in. The first thing that I would say you should definitely, definitely look at is your support system and this can include a variety of people in your life. This includes family, friends, a professional network that you've developed throughout your foundation years or so on and so forth. And I would consider that this is the most important part of uh, your whole training experience because A, training is hard. You require constant support from family, friends. This includes emotional support, which I'm talking about. The other aspect of support is uh, professional support. So say, for example, if you've done your foundation training in two or three hospitals and you were like, okay, this is a nice place. It is near to my support system with my family and also my friends then that is the deanery that you should consider first without anybody else saying anything else because your professional network can help you not only in training but also doing extra bits. So say for example you want to do audits, QIPs, part of conferences, courses and if you know a lot of people then you can get the in very easily. It is called networking, it is a very important thing and if you already have one then why don't use it? So these two things are very important for me obviously or any IMG that comes to a new country or a new place, we don't have a family support system. So we usually have a professional support system. And if you're comfortable in the current hospital that you're working in and you feel like, okay, yeah, these are good people, this is good support, um, then yeah, why not choose that one? I think that is the first thing that you should be considering when you're ranking um, your preferences. Obviously, as we go along this video, we'll find out once we've ranked those, what is the next thing we look for and then we rank and then the next thing we look for and then we rank. That's how I've decided to make this video so that it's helpful for you to rank. The next thing I want to talk about is location. So if you're England based and say, for example, you've ranked all of the deaneries which are near to your support system or your network or whatever you're choosing as your central hub is what I call it, um, then you can decide whether as a location, what can be your next central hub. So, okay, fine, I don't get into my support system place. I don't get into a place which is near to my people. That's okay, that's fine, and I still want to apply for training. I still want to accept a post. So the next degrees that you'll be ranking, you'll be thinking about location. So, so for me, my central hub was London, and therefore I chose all the cities, after I'd ranked all the actual cities which are nearer London, to all the cities that were an hour away from commute train-wise so that I don't have to drive to London. And then I ranked those. So for me, I never wanted to live in London. I never ranked London. London is not a place where I want to live. It's expensive. But I did want to stay nearby because it's the hub for traveling and that's what I like to do. So the next degrees I ranked was depending upon their location and how close by they are to London or if they're not close, then how quickly can I get to London from those places? So my next point was location. And this is location after I've ranked all the nearby places to my support system. So now I'm looking at locations which is nearer to a central hub that I have decided for myself, for me. That's London. The next thing, and this is a point which is very important for people who are doing GP or IMT or those kind of uh, training specialities. For anesthetics and ICU, I don't think that is going to be a really helpful point, but regardless, we're making this video for everyone. Um, so you look at the subspecialities. So for example, if you're an IMT trainee, or want to be an IMG trainee and wanted to take a mineral post or a renal post or you know that kind of thing as a reg and you want to have a good portfolio when you apply for a reg training number then it is good for you to actually rotate in renal or rotate in neuro and so on and so forth so that you understand what the specialty itself is and if you work in the department then you can work on your portfolio to actually have a competitive advantage or other people and you can also show you know commitment to speciality through those things so then once you've ranked all of that stuff and now you're ranking further away places which are far far away from your support system and your central hub how do you rank here so you rank by using the subspecialities and that way it was going to help you decide what to rank first who to rank first and that kind of thing the fourth point is basically to look how big the deanery is so by how big the deanery is, I mean how far you'll have to commute if you are part of that deanery. I know there are a few deaneries which are really famous, but 
the biggest disadvantage of being in those deaneries is that each hospital you rotate in is like an hour away, right? Or maybe two hours away. Sometimes it's 2.53 hours away. And they're all considered a part of that deanery. The disadvantage here or the con I would say is that you will have to keep relocating every three or four months or six months depending on how your rotations work. And as I've moved once now, I've relocated, I can surely say 100%, it's a very stressful thing to do. And it's not just about the money or the time or effort of moving, it's about the entire environment changing. And imagine that changing every six months. Make sure that the deaneries you are ranking are smaller, or if there are big deaneries, then look at the hospitals and the commune. So yeah, this would be the fourth point. So make sure you look at how big the deanery is, what hospitals are included, and are they commutable? Can you make like a common point and then just commute to all the hospitals from that one point? You don't want to keep relocating yourself. It's a big hassle and absolute no if you have the choice. And yeah, these are the points that you should be thinking about when you're preferencing or ranking. A tip I would say is you can open the maps and actually look at the bus routes and the timings. That's exactly how I did it. And write down the places which you think are nearby or closer or commutable and then write down pros and cons and then rank because at the end of the day, if you have watched my previous video, if you haven't ranked appropriately and you don't get your first choice, then you can safely accept whatever you get with an upgrade if you have actually put effort while ranking. And now that you've done most of the baits, you've given the exam, you're just waiting for the offer and the preferences are still open, I would suggest take your time in ranking because at the end of the day, you are going to be in training for the next how many years. And to sustain that, I feel like a support system is very important and where you are working is very important. It's very important. Like you really need to rank things and look at your priorities and decide what you want. And this is the time to actually put effort. So take out a pen and paper, write it down, decide exactly what you want, how you want to do it. And trust me, it is going to pay off when you have an offer where you're far away from whatever you wanted, wherever you wanted to be. Because once you select an upgrade option, it will go to a point where you actually would have been more happier. So that's why ranking and preferencing is very, very important. And if you do not understand how the training offers work, like all the little buttons on Oriel, then make sure you watch the previous video that I've uploaded and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.